It will be a very big test for Kyle Brannis, the second year big league starter. Yeah, but certainly capable if he's able to command his stuff to be able to uh, control that, uh, you know, high powered offense. And there's the slider that we talked about. And it's a hard one. Corey Seager stands in left side. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's going to strike everybody out, but if you're going to make these kind of pitches when you get the two strikes, they're not going to hit him. Two gone. Nathaniel Lowe up in this nothing nothing game, the first inning. And on one two, he swings through a breaking ball. Three swinging strikeouts for Bradish in the first inning. Cody Bradford gets us started, and the first pitch has popped up. Playable for Seeger, although no, it's not. Well, you could tell for a moment there that that sun was bothersome, and it flat lost it. Two on base with nobody out, and sends Austin Hayes to the plate. Austin Hayes who lashes one into the gap for a hit. Mullins will round third. Rutschman will round second. Hayes will hold on at first. And the Orioles have a first inning ambush against Cody Bradford. And they are loaded up from Outcastle. Ryan finally came through yesterday in his last at bat. RBI double on his bobblehead day. And Mountcastle will drill it. In the air to right field. This is going to hang in the park for the right fielder Grossman. Rutschman is home and Hayes takes third. So down 0 and 2 in the count. Ryan Mountcastle does get in that second run of the inning. Now Ramon Urias gets on base at a high rate. The pitch to him. Ground ball short. There's a quick flip for one on to first. Two. Got him. And he gets out of the inning. And that is a huge pitch and play for Cody Bradford. An eight pitch single and a seven pitch walk for Texas against Bradish here in the second. Now Jonah Heim, the one two. Bouncer first base backhand stop Mountcastle will go to second they get the out there wow on to first for the double play that's nicely done by Mountcastle and Mateo I did not think that, that had double play written on it off the bat Brandish get out of it in the second inning two nothing Orioles one two he swung at another hook and this time Bradish gets his man Cody Bradford local kid for the Rangers sixth round pick Two years ago out of Baylor the one two and a swing and a miss his first strike out of the ball game he gets Gunnar Henderson it's the top of the strike zone with that four seam fastball run for the strike out of line out and now the head of the ninth place hitter and he lifts it into center field that's not going to carry Tavares finds his way to the spot and the inning is over a one two three for Cody Bradford well, the Rangers won yesterday two two swing and a miss. Bradford gets Mullins on the elevated fastball. Santander bats with an RBI opportunity. Bradford, the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Gets a chase on what would have been ball four. A fastball north of the zone. Santander flips his bat and helmet in disgust. Now Garcia, the majors RBI leader. And a first pitch in the left. <laughs> Austin Hayes yeah. will make it a five pitch inning. How about that? Rangers trailing the Orioles two to nothing. Ryan Mountcastle leads it off here against Cody Bradford. This pitch has popped up over on the first base side, low along the line. Now veers back into fair territory and makes the catch to take care of Mountcastle for the first out. And now here's Gunnar Henderson as Bradford deals the 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Elevated fastball gets Henderson, and uh, Cody Bradford records his fourth strikeout of the afternoon. To the fifth we go. Baltimore leading Texas here 2 0. One hit, one walk, four strikeouts for Kyle Bradish. He faces Josh Young. Young to shortstop. <laughs> Mateo got a casually done for round number one. <laughs> Two gone, and now here comes Travis Jankowski to the plate. And it may get him out of the fifth. Right back to him. Ooh. And that was a close play, just barely got Jankowski at first. The turn in 1 1. A line drive hit off the end of the bat and it'll dunk into shallow left field. Jorge Mateo fights a pitch off and singles into short left field, giving him his first hit of the day. 3 2 pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. So Bradford uh, comes back to get Mullins the leadoff batter, struck him out with a fastball. That's five punch outs for Cody Bradford today. 0 2. And Rutschman lifts it into right field. Grossman was shaded that way and he'll make the play to end the inning. Go back to the top of the order for Marcus Simeon. Still a man out there now for Marcus Simeon. And Simeon lifts this ball deep out to left field. 
That one's trouble, and it bangs up against that sidewall. Into third base, Grossman. They'll send him to the plate. He scores all the way from first on the Simeon double. So the deficit cut in half. Almost dumped it into Mr. Splash's lap. And the tie run is at second for Corey Seager. Strikeout and a flyout for Seager today. And he punches oh, one to shortstop. Break. Right at Mateo. <laughs> he will flip it. That's nice. <laughs> See, he gives Ramon a little piece of the action. Two quick outs for Spores. Two outs, nobody on. There's a swing and a miss and a strikeout of Mountcastle. And Spores one, two, three through the sixth inning. Nicely done. Bradish only right now at 73 pitches. He has been efficient. Likes the ball right there. Right to yeah, third yeah. in Henderson. <laughs> Gunner on yeah, the spot. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then how did the last inning end? A sizzling line drive that Mateo catches. That brings up Josh Young. Ten game hitting streak on the line for Young. Big 2 2 pitch. And that ball is Tomahawk into left field. Base hit. Young is on. And so the hitting streak does extend. Six and two thirds ties a season high for Bradish. Yeah. In the year Cano coming in, and boy, what a year he's had. It's really uh, solidified this bullpen. The pitch, high and swings, hits one down the right field line, a base hit. That one's rolling to the corner. Young heading towards third. It's picked up by Santander. Tony Beasley puts up the stop sign for Young as the relay throw gets to Rutschman on one hop from Urias. But it's a double for Jonah Heim. The Rangers have met at second and third with two outs, trailing two to one, and Travis Jankowski coming up. We'll get him. Strike a pose and strand a pair. Yenyer Cano is out of it. Bubba into scoring position. Now we go to the top of the order and Marcus Simeon. Brown ball to second. Urias there. Thompson will go to third as the Orioles get out number two. So the tying run now just 90 feet away for Corey Seager. This ball. Hit on a line out to left field. That gets down. Base hit. It'll tie the game. Bubba Thompson is in. Seeger evens the score at 2-2 with an eighth inning double. This ball is just covered by Corey Seeger. Cano replaced for Coulomb. He will face low in a 2-2 game. Seeger the tying run at second. And Coulomb's breaking ball is hit in the air to left center field. Sending Hayes and Mullins back. And Austin's there. The inning's over, but the Rangers tie it. And there is a walk for Cedric Mullins. Watchman to bat right handed. He'll start him, and it's going to work out brilliantly. Mullins will go to third on the base hit. Mullins will hold in third as Tavares retrieves it. The hit and the run work to perfection. Now the Orioles, they are set up. Go ahead run at third base. Game tied at two. Rangers the infield in with Hayes at bat. Who swings and grounds one through the drawn in infield. And the Orioles have taken the lead back. And Austin Hayes, a three-hit game, and now he drives in the go-ahead run. Adam Frazier to pinch hit. Two outs in the inning. Rutschman at second, Hayes at first. Frazier into right field, got under it. And Jankowski will end the inning. The Orioles get the lead back as Hayes scores Mullins. 27-2 when leading after eight innings. A big reason why the work of Felix Bautista and the night. And that's unhittable, too. Well, that was pretty impressive. Here's Josh Young. On 2-2, wow. he burns him. 101 again. Fans at Camden Yards on their feet. Jonah Heim against Felix Bautista. The 2-2. He struck him out, and the Orioles win it. Three strikeouts in an overwhelming ninth inning for Felix Bautista.